Hi everyone, Thomas here and welcome back to another video. So today I'm here to give you a gameplay overview of the new Vintage Glamour stuff packed to The Sims 4. So in today's video, like I said, I'm going to give you an overview where we're going to be mainly looking at the vanity table as you can see in front of us here. We're also going to take a look at butlers and what they can do and I'll also give you a quick overview of build mode but I'm not going to go into that too much because I just wanted to focus mainly on the gameplay. If you want to see you create a sim then that will be coming later or either tomorrow so make sure you stay tuned for that. I may also be doing a build if I get the time. So here we are and I'm going to test out the uh, vanity table first. If, so if you don't know, um, this is a new feature to The Sims where you can basically get your Sims to put on makeup, any gender, any age, and they can, you know, put makeup on temporarily. And I'll show you the ways why it's temporarily in just a second. So we're going to, uh, you can do normal things like you would with the mirror, but I also have this new feature here called apply makeup. And you have all these different types of things. Now, I don't really know what to do because I have no experience with makeup. So I'm just going to choose I don't know, let's do black and greys. Um which one would maybe fit best with this dress? Just kind of wearing like a yellow dress, so maybe something of that sort of colour, if I can find anything. Maybe orange, I, th I think that's the closest one. Um, and it kind of gives you a little overview of some of the things that they're doing here with that, and you can see some of the interactions, like putting some makeup on here. And these items that you actually see here for the makeup are actually um, debug items as well, so you can, if you know how to do that cheat, you can actually get them and maybe use these items that she's using right here as clutter. So, she takes a little break and then she's moving back on again. And uh, this just takes a little while. And what I'm going to show you next is how this looks. And then I'll show you how to remove it temporarily. So, as you can see, she's put some eyeshadow. I can't speak. Eyeshadow and some uh, cheek thingy. I don't even know what it's called on here. And um, this will stay on until a, a couple of different things can happen to take it off. So the first thing is if you go to take a bath um, or a shower, then that'll do that. The other thing is that it'll keep it on if you change from like everyday to formal, and it'll also stay on during like social events as well. Um, so that is that, and you can also do that on any sims, like I said, in any age. Now let's take a look at butlers. That was just a quick overview of the vanity table. So to hire a butler, all you have to do is head over to hire a service and then the menu will pop up um, and it'll come down here to butler. So it's 175 simoleons plus 12 simoleons an hour, um, which I think works out about 2,000 simoleons a week. So these are only really for the wealthy families like the Spencer Kim Lewis here. So that's why I'm using their, uh, their household here because uh, I do have a little bit more money than other sims that I've played with. So let's get him to hire a service. And I've got loads of screenshots here. And it says the Winterberg Butlering Academy has an excellent candidate to join your residence as a living butler. They will report to work within the day. Upon your butler's arrival, please assign them a bed to sleep in. Should you be able to provide... Oh my God, I can't speak. <laughs> Upon your butler's arrival, please assign them a bed to sleep in. Should you be providing private quarters for your butler, you may set lock doors for their selection of the... I can't even... <laughs> I can't even bother to read the rest of that, but you know what I mean. So, um, there's somebody walking in the house and I have no idea who they are. It seems like a, a welcome wagon but I don't really want any of those yet so let's just cancel the welcome wagon but the butler is here and the one we have is a female one this time and they are called hang on I'm trying to get I need to put the walls down because I can't do it Um, they are called oh my god <laughs> how do you pronounce that name is it Adiria Savalina I think that's how you say it Um, so this is our new butler here and you can change the appearance in Create a Sim of their like facial features and things. You can also set them new outfits if you want to, but when they get back into game, they will put this outfit back on as this is their normal work outfit. Now, there are a couple of things you can do with butlers, of course. First thing is when you click on them, you can, of course, have normal uh, relationships with them, both being friendly and romantic. Um, and you also have a butler management thingy here as well. So you have four different options. You have assigned task, visitors, responsibilities, and management. So assigned task is basically just Tell them right then what you want them to do. So we could say, I don't know, let's say, um, what should we do? Uh, uh, cook a family meal. So that'll cost 40 simoleons. So he will probably ring the bell, I suppose. Let's see if that's going to happen. Um, there we go. So he is ringing the bell, um, as you can see. So let's take a little quick screenshot of that. If you're new to my videos here, then you may know that I take a lot. Well, I mean, if you're not you, then you may not know that I take a lot of screenshots doing my videos because when it comes to thumbnail time, when I might, I don't even know that's a proper name to call it thumbnail time, really. Um, I just don't like it when I don't have enough screenshots to use. And I'm like, oh, this thumbnail could have been better if I took more screenshots and I regret it. So that's why I might take a few screenshots during this um video here so I'm going to get him to do that and then if you come in here and find where the thing is over 
over here she is already on it cooking a meal for the family now there are a couple of other things like you've seen in that menu which you can do if you go back into butler you can assign them a task or a couple more things you got management as well so you can pre, uh, oh my god, sorry, you can reprimand them, you can praise or fire them, and um, you also have responsibilities where you can get them to stop doing or start doing a, a particular thing. So say if you are an avid gardener, then what you can do is get them to stop gardening by clicking this button, and then they won't tend to the garden, that's up to you. Um, and then you also have a similar thing for the other options there, which were for miners, objects and cleaning. Um, and then you have visitors as well, which might have been useful for that welcome wagon there, and you can get them to dismiss all visitors, invite them all or ignore them. So as you can see she's made that meal there and she seems to be going back to make a couple more but we only had to pay 40 simoleons so I'm not exactly too sure if that means she'll just cook until you decide to do something else. I'm not exactly too sure on that one but I would think they'll only do one but it seems to be uh, you're getting more money, getting more out of what you <laughs> getting more, <laughs> oh my god getting more from your money. There we go, I got it in the end. So um that is pretty much it for butlers. There's a one more thing I wanted to show you, which was uh, with doors. I need to find a door somewhere. So say if this was your butler's bedroom, what you can do is now click on the doors. You can click lock door for everyone but butler. And then, of course, if you want to go in, you can allow access to whoever. Um, and that is pretty much it. So there are a couple more things that butlers can do. And I think I'll leave that up to you now to go into game and test that out for yourself. But butlers are a really good addition to the game. Just make sure that your sim has enough money to afford them. Okay, and just before I end the video, I just want to show you a couple more things and that is with the build mode items now I'm not going to go into too much detail with this I'm just going to point out a couple of things that you get here so let's narrow this down to just vintage glamour stuff so we do get some new beds which is great because that is something that we are lacking in the game and you get two types of beds here as you can see they are pretty expensive this one is 8,000 and this one is 3,500 and then they do come with a range of different color options as you can see here and then the same with this other one which has slightly more color options actually um, and then and also you have some new chairs like this one right here. There's also another one there which I showed you before on the vanity table. We'll have a couple of new couches like this one which was seen in the trailer a little while ago and on the, um, what was it, the quarterly teaser. And then we'll also have another a table here which has a glass uh, top here as you can see and that is nice and reflective one and um, they also have some new coffee tables if I can find it I might have just was this it no it wasn't yeah this one right here and um, a lot of people were asking for like plain a plain black coffee table and they finally got that as well as some other color options here as well uh, let's just take a couple more things so we've got this one right here which is some new books I suppose they're just a decorative item with with someone someone well I don't think that's a person with something sitting on and some books and um, we'll have uh, some new uh, color items here as well this is a new rug which is actually quite nice uh, which we did see in the trailer as well and um, we've got a new fireplace right here which I can't place down because I need it on a wall but that does come with some more colour options as well we've got a new room divider which I really really like actually some new lamps like this one and this one right here as well we also have this one as well which is like a, a llama or something um, with a lampshade on its head and there's also a couple of other things like a chandelier as well which is really really nice and I can't as you can see there I can't place it down but you know what I mean um, and also we've got a new uh, a new wardrobe, a new dresser, some more tables, and there's actually two different vanity tables. You've got this one right here, which I didn't show you before, which is 455 simoleons. Then you also have this one, which seems a little bit more elegant, I suppose, which is 855 simoleons. So, I hope you found this video useful. I know I didn't go into build mode in too much detail. It was just to give you a quick little overview of some of the new items you'll get with the Sims 4 Vintage Glamour Stuff Pack. If you have any further questions you want to know about the Stuff Pack, then please make sure that you leave them down below in the comment section, and I'll do my best to help answer them for you. Make sure you leave a like, like I said, share and subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!